Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Miller House this holiday season. I just want to come on and, and uh, give holiday greetings to everyone. Thank you for the support that you've given this ministry and to the Miller family as well as the St. Paul Church. Uh, to all of you in Facebook land, uh, I greet all of you in the name of Jesus. And for this is the re He is the reason for this season, and I just want to share with you just for a moment, just to say thank you for all that you do and all that you've done in this year of 2021. We're looking to go into 2022 with just as much excitement and as fire as we came that we're leaving this year. But we thank God for each and every one of you. And I just want to say season's greeting, happy holidays to everyone. Have a very Merry Christmas and a glorious New Year for 2022. And I want my baby, my baby to come over. Y'all haven't seen her. Amen. Y'all haven't seen her. She's She's a little, little help behind the scenes on Sunday mornings. Uh, she's this is this is Abernis Abernis Miller, this is my, my baby. You know, tell the people Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. All right, and uh, we're so happy to have Mama home. Yeah, come on, Amen, Amen. And so, and so we want to say to all of you from the Miller family. Merry Christmas, and, and Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year. God bless you. Y'all have a blessed holiday. Hallelujah. Yes, I'm 
a day that's not promised to us, but a day that you have this purpose and destined in our lives. And we pray, Master, we thank you, Lord, because you have given us the activity of our limbs and you've enclosed us in our right minds and given us the privilege and the opportunity to live, move, and have our being all wrapped up in you. And we thank you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We recognize your almightiness, Lord, knowing that had it not been for you, we wouldn't be here today. Recognizing your almightiness, Lord, knowing and recognizing that you control the times and the seasons, the heat, the cold, and the breeze. We give you praise, honor, and glory right now for all you've done, all you're doing, and all that you have yet prepared to do in our lives. And we know that we can't come to you in any kind of condition. So we come, Master, asking you right now in the mighty name of Jesus to forgive us of our sins. Cleanse us from our unrighteous and wicked ways. Then Master created us a clean heart and renew within us the right spirit that we may continue to rejoice, praise, and glorify thy name. That our lights will shine before me and that they will see our good works and glorify you in heaven. Heavenly Father, we, we need you every day and every hour, every moment, every second, every minute of the day. Lead us and guide us According to your divine providence, that's purpose and design for our lives. Right now, in the name of Jesus. And then, Master, there are those in the hospitals and the nursing homes and those that are in jail houses that need you today. We don't have to tell you to go there because you're already there. And because of your almightiness, you are everywhere at the same time. And we just glorify you today, Master. We thank you for loving us so much that you allowed your son to die for our sins. And Lord, even in this season and in this time and in the era that we're living in, Lord, we know that you're watching over us each and every day of our lives. We know, Lord, that there's another storm coming that's right around the corner. But, Lord, we pray, Master, right now in the name of Jesus. That you continue to protect, lead, and guide us and provide for us all that we need. In this dark and evil world that we in, Lord, we, we pray, Lord, for those that are less fortunate than we are. We pray for those that are out on the corners. Pray for the prostitutes, the winos, and the drug addicts. Gang bangers and the drug dealers, we, we lift them before you right now in the name of Jesus. Have thine own way. Continue to, Lord, to strengthen and move and motivate us to do what you called us to do. That you assign to our hands to perform. That we do it all to the glory of thy name. Master, now the time has come that we need to hear a word. And as we have emptied out ourselves of our problems and troubles throughout this week, we come before your holy presence empty and ready to be filled by your word. Ready to be filled by your presence and your power. Right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, we need you right now. Holy Spirit of God, come now. Someone, someone's faith has grown weak. Come now, Holy Spirit, because in the midst of the weakness of many, many are becoming distraught, confused, complex, and troubled in their soul. Come now, Holy Spirit of God, and speak to your people. Speak 
the word of life, liberty, and deliverance. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I pray, Master, that you come now and overshadow this vessel of clay. That you create a shape and form in your image. And steal an essence of yourself. Come forth and speak now the word of truth. Come now and speak the word of power, strength, and deliverance, healing, and inspiration. I surrender my whole self to thee. Come now, speak through me and speak for me. That your words will flow freely from my lips. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. For Lord, you are my strength. You are my redeemer. Christ Jesus' name, we pray. And all the people of God said amen. Amen. Welcome to St. Paul Primitive Baptist Church Virtual Worship and Biblical Education Platform. Biblical Education and Learning. Get involved in the Word of God. Thursdays live, 6.45 p.m. to 7.45 p.m. Jesus changes everything. By the Holy Spirit, preacher of the Word of God. John 14 and 26. Your host, Elder Brian K. Miller and Lady Elect Angela Miller. Amen. Come on, give the Lord some praise. Ma, 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 ma. To those of you in Facebook land, this virtual ministry and platform that the Lord has purposed and designed to reach the unreachable and to speak to those that are unteachable. Uh, to hear the word of the Lord on this day that deliverance will come to your house and in your way. Amen. 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 We want to continue in this series. It's time to understand and maximize your importance. Uh, Galatians Chapter 6, beginning in verse number 6, says, Let him that is taught in the word communicate unto him that teacheth in all the things. Be not deceived, God is not mocked. For whatsoever man soweth, that shall he also reap. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reach, reap everlasting life. And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. But as we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men, especially unto them who are of the household of faith. Amen. Come on, give the Lord some praise. Amen. Look to your neighbor and tell your neighbor, uh, maximize your importance with the right perspective. Maximize your importance with the right perspective. 
Amen. 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 Uh, the Apostle Paul, the Apostle Paul teaches, he teaches uh, uh, the Galatians to be tender and affectionate towards uh, anyone who had fallen into sin by the violence of uh, temptation. Uh, and, and it must be done by must to, to learn to bear each other's burdens. Come on, somebody. Humbly thinking of themselves concerning their own nature, personality, temperament, and mentality, and makeup uh, from the evidence of their works more than anything else. All right? Uh, uh, and, and you have to do it from supporting those who educate or teach in the righteousness. Come on, somebody. And in this series, uh, we find a warning against self deception, deceitfulness, hypocrisy, and fraud. Because whatever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. And Paul urging them, urging them not to tire out, get exhausted, or far, or drained in well-doing, and hold on to every chance to do good. Come on, somebody. Uh, uh, because a new birth of the soul is needed to his salvation and peacefulness uh, to them who act on this plan by embracing Jesus's perspective. Oh my Lord! Uh, and, and we have to we have to consider we have to consider Jesus's two part uh, uh, two three part perspectives because Jesus view potential from two three part perspectives and they are service and sacrifice of suffering by using a towel for service uh, and a cross for sacrifice of suffering. Uh, and my brothers and sisters, God assigns us to places where we are mostly needed. Uh, and, and where he assigns us uh, might be a tough situation. Come on, Holy Spirit. Uh, uh, the salary may be small. Uh, uh, housing may be limited or optional. Uh, and the attendance of the church may be low. Uh, but he will assign us to places uh, uh, blighted by urban decay, uh, 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 social violence, moral desperation, congregations in fragments by broken relationships are to serve untrustworthy, shameless, corrupted, uh, dishonest, cunning, fraudulent, evil, and wicked people uh, because we are their only hope. Help me, Holy Spirit. Um, for the Holy Spirit has revealed uh, unto me, uh, he has revealed to me that God intends for me, I can't talk about talk for nobody else, uh, but he, he intends for me uh, uh, to love his people as well as people in general uh, and feed faith into places uh, where even the best of people uh, have given up. Uh, good God Almighty. But I thank God that I am growing in grace and in the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Uh, and when pastors begin to see the capacity to develop disciples uh, from Jesus' perspective, uh, congregations will have power, uh, good God Almighty, uh, over genuine possibilities. Uh, and I say Say that because the day and time that we look at, uh, 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 it seems that churches and pastors and ministries uh, have limited themselves uh, to the power over genuine possibilities. Uh, but I want you to know God counts on you uh, and he counts on me uh, to execute and accomplish uh, a Christ glorifying work uh, in ministry uh, where we have been planted uh, and understand all we need to do is understand and maximize uh, your importance because a growing ministry starts by finding a need that breaks your heart. Good God Almighty. It breaks your heart and inspires and influences and persuades you to break your back to meet the need. And I thank God that, that he revealed to me some years ago that he has called me to be a representative of his heart. But the only way that we can truly represent the heart of 
of God is we have to be able to understand and maximize our importance. Uh, like a river flowing, overflowing at, at, at flood stage. Uh, my brothers and sisters, everything is changing. Uh, uh, matter of fact, old thoughts are being confronted and old thoughts are being rejected. Uh, because everything is heading downstream to an unknown journey's end. Uh, and every congregation stands in the center of this pandemic of pandemonium. Uh, leaders are shifting. Uh, members are migrating. Uh, the economy is in disorder. Uh, and doctrinal confusion uh, is multiplying in congregational changes. Uh, but regardless of how churches resist change, uh, no congregation is, a, is as it was a decade ago. Uh, or even the same as it was before the pandemic uh, or after. Uh, good God Almighty. Uh, we need to understand and maximize your importance. Because, and I'm almost done now, 2 Corinthians 5 and 17 reminds us, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. And it's a changing of time and the way things flow. Uh, you have to realize that we're no longer where we was uh, and we're no longer where we have been. Uh, but we are on our way to a new destination uh, because uh, you are new in Christ. Uh, good God Almighty uh, and all things are of God uh, that have reconciled us to himself. Uh, oh Lord, uh, and reconcile us uh, by Jesus, by Jesus Christ, uh, and uh, have given us uh, the ministry of reconciliation, uh, which is the ministry of restoration. Uh, it is the ministry of understanding peace. Uh, the ministry that brings uh, an end to hostilities. Uh, so as I go to my seat now, I want you to know I beseech you therefore, brethren and sisters uh, by the mercies of God you present your bodies uh, a living sacrifice uh, holy, uh, acceptable unto God uh, which is your reasonable service. Oh Lord, and be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Just understand and maximize your importance. Oh Lord, and be not conformed to this world. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Because God knows who you are. For I say, to the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, not to think of yourself more highly than you ought. Oh Lord, but think soberly according as God had dealt to every man the measure of faith that you have. Good God Almighty, understand and maximize your importance. Because God is, is with you. Good God Almighty, to the close of this message on this day you gotta have the right perspective because I found out serving the Lord will pay off after a while serving God will pay off will maximize your importance oh Lord I'm not going to close right now. I'm going to hold on a little while longer. Because God is my everything. He's my hope for tomorrow. Oh, Lord. He's my joy in the midst of sin.
sorrow. Uh, hold on. You gotta hold on just a little while longer. Uh, oh yeah, and I thank God for leading and guiding me. Uh, it's alright to say, take my hand, precious Lord, and lead, lead me on. Uh, Traditions and rituals. Hold uh, on. You gotta break generational gaps uh, and curses. Uh, but you gotta have the right perspective and serve, serve the Lord. Uh, serve the Lord with gladness. Oh Lord, that you can come into His presence. Oh Lord, with thanksgiving, give Him praise. To God, I'm so glad today they allowed me an opportunity to talk to you and to talk to me. I'm so glad that He's on my side, and I thank God for the ministry of Him. Oh Lord, because Jesus, Jesus, He's got the right perspective. To give to us uh, and we must serve him until we die. Oh Lord, yeah, he's able, he's able, he's able, he's able. You need to get the right perspective to maximize your importance. Because God has placed you where you need to be in order to grow to God Almighty. In this sale of the everlasting church, come on, give the Lord some praise for He is worthy. But I'm excited today. I'm excited because God is giving you everything you need. But above all, you have to have the right perspective. We'll come back next week. The Lord say the same. With a continuation that you may understand and maximize your importance. Celebrate in this season of giving, of love, of peace, and of joy, and of goodwill toward men. Let us not forget to take the right perspective because it allows you an opportunity to maximize your importance. Somebody needs to hear your story. Somebody needs to feel the power of your testimony. They will cause them and persuade them to come crying, Lord, what must I do to be saved? Because if he did it for me, <laughs> he can do it and he will do it for you. God bless you today and God keep you is our prayer. Come on, give the Lord a hand clap of praise. <laughs> Maximize your importance with the right perspective. The enemy has a way of distorting our visions, our purposes, and our desires, twisting them up, 
calls us to defy, reject the power and the presence of God's Holy Spirit who lives in us. And all we have to do is surrender unto him, confess with our mouth the Lord Jesus Christ, believing in thy heart that God raised him for the dead, raised him from the dead that you may be saved that through his death, burial and resurrection you now live in the newness of life God bless you, God keep you is our prayer and right where you're sitting right now I pray that you open your heart and your mind Concentrate on Him. Focus on all that He's done in your life. Think about how He's protected you, even in the midst of this pandemic situation that's growing worse each and every day. And really, many, many don't see it because they have not taken the right perspective. the view from the side of the Holy Spirit seeing it through God's eyes that will cause cause you to repent and ask forgiveness of your sin eternal God we thank you right now we thank you for this word we thank you for this revelation we thank you for the magnification of your word that, that, that draws, that inspires and draws us and gives us influence to do the right thing. Grant us your peace, Master. Grant us your love, your joy, your gentleness, your kindness, Grant us the faithfulness of your son, Jesus. Grant us the patience to endure all things, suffer all things. That when it's all over, you will declare unto us, well done, thy good and faithful servant. You fought a good fight. You finished your course. Welcome us, Lord, to thy kingdom that that we may reign that we may praise and we may worship with you all the rest of our days in the name of Jesus we pray pray that this word has fallen into fertile soil today pray that it takes root spring forth and bring good fruit that we may be renewed in our heart body and soul right now in the name of Jesus keep us now master in perfect peace and love until you come again in Jesus name and all the people of God said amen amen come on give the Lord some praise And I just want to take a moment to share with you that we wish each and every one of you a Merry Christmas this week. And we ask and we pray great blessings during this holiday season. And we say happy blessing, happy holidays to you. And may God continue to shine upon you for the rest of your days. Glory be to God. We love you. God loves you best. And it ain't nothing you can do about either one. Come on, give him another hand clap of praise. Amen. I'm excited today. I'm excited. Do you feel that, that you're being blessed by this ministry and the words that you receive each week? encourages, inspires, and strengthens you with power. It gives you the power to endure the rest of the week. We pray that the Lord will move on your heart. 
that you will sow into this ministry that you may reap many blessings. We go to our Gilify, to the St. Paul Primitive Baptist Church, 2209 East 14th Street, Austin, Texas, 78702. And you can mail, mail us a check or money order to 2209 East 14th Street, Austin, Texas, 78702. Addressed to St. Paul Primitive Baptist Church. God bless you today. God keep you. Come on, give the Lord some praise. And I pray that, that you pray for this preacher. As God blesses that on tomorrow, he's allowed me to live another year. And I give him praise, honor, and glory. And I thank him for his grace and his mercy. And he is always worthy to be praised. Come on, let's get ready to go. Bless you and have a blessed week.